Mr. Speaker, every policy, every policy has three key elements. Listening to the minister, I was trying to see if I can understand the three key elements in the policy. The first one was the definition of the problem. The minister attributed everything to external factors. Mr. Speaker, we are where we are because of their unbridled borrowing for consumption. Mr. Speaker, when he took over, the total debt stock of our nation was 120 billion, as reported by Bank of Ghana. Today, you are here reporting that our debt within six years has ballooned to 575 billion Ghana cities, indicating that within six years, you have added 455 billion to the national debt store. What did you use that money for? You are an investment banker. You know that when you borrow, you are expanding future revenues and you pay in future. How did you invest the resources? Today, we have been asked to repay and we can't get the money to pay just because you borrowed for consumption. So, Mr. Speaker, we are in this morass, this economic quagmire, just because the government decided to borrow for consumption as if the world was coming to an end. That is the problem. If you don't have a better appreciation of the problem, there is no way you can prefer solutions. So if you continue to attribute it to Ukraine, Russia, to COVID, then there is no way you can solve the problem. Let's understand. Let Ghanaians understand that you have created the problem. And that from today, if you intend to borrow again, you will borrow for investment and not for consumption. In that case, we can have some confidence that the minister is now on the proper track to achieve the target set for himself. Mr. Speaker, the second point is the goal. What is the minister seeking to achieve with this policy? The minister is seeking to achieve fiscal space to grow the economy so that we can have resources to pay our loans.